This video demonstrates how to create basic shapes in Illustrator. We will see how to change the shape on the fly as you create it with special shortcut keys. You can see here I have a couple of sample shapes. I have a rectangle, a perfect square, an ellipse, a perfect circle, two concentric circles or circles that share the same midpoint, a hexagon, an octagon, a five-pointed star, and a multi-pointed star, more than five. Let me show you how to create these simple shapes. First of all, let's create a new document by pressing Control and N on the keyboard. We're going to name this document your name, shapes. Make sure that the units are set to inches and that you are in portrait orientation. Once you have those settings set, simply click OK. With our blank document, before we get started, we want to make sure that we all have the same color stroke and the same color fill. The stroke and the fill are set up right here. You should have the fill, which is this solid box, white, and the stroke, which is this box with kind of an outline, should be black. To set these to these default colors, simply press the D on the keyboard or click on this icon here to make sure your colors are the same as mine. Now let's go ahead and start creating simple shapes in Illustrator. I'm going to hover over the rectangle tool. I can get here by pressing M on the keyboard, as you can see in that tool tip. Notice how when I hover over a tool, there's a, a letter in parentheses next to it. That tells me if I press that letter, I will select that tool. Now underneath the rectangle tool, there's a couple other tools that we're going to go through as well. I want to tear off this tool so I can use all of them. So I click on the rectangle and I come over to tear off. Now with the tear off selected, I can see all my tools. I'm going to start with a rectangle tool. I want to click and draw a rectangle and it's pretty easy. Notice how as I was drawing it, let me undo that real quick, click and draw, it's actually showing me the width and the height of my rectangle. So if I wanted a one inch by two inch, you can see I can kind of eyeball and follow where it goes. It's kind of hard to get there. If I wanted it exactly one inch by two inch, I can simply click on the rectangle tool, click without dragging, and it asks me how wide I want my rectangle. So I'm going to make it one inch by two inches and press OK. Now if I want to create a square, I could do the same thing where I simply click and then I type in the dimensions. Or I can click and press the click and drag and press the shift key as I drag. When you hold the shift key down, notice how it constrains the width and the height to the same. So go ahead and create a square. I'm going to create a two inch by two inch square. Now I'm going to move on to the rounded rectangle tool. I just want to demonstrate this one quickly so you can see how it works. The rounded rectangle tool, if I click over here, it shows me the width, the height, and also the corner radius. So I'm going to make this two inches by two inches and I'm going to give it a corner radius of 0.25 inches. What this does is it gives me a rounded rectangle. Let's move on to the ellipse tool, which is the third tool here, or I can access it by pressing L on the keyboard. To draw an ellipse is simple. You click and drag and you can draw the ellipse. If I wanted to draw a perfect circle, I can click and hold the shift key just like I did with the rectangle to get a perfect square. And now I can see my circle is going to be a perfect circle. That's pretty simple. Go ahead and draw a circle. Now I want to create two circles that are concentric or that share the same center point. To do this, I'm going to click and drag holding the shift key to draw my circle. Now I want to create another one, so I'm going to press the alt key and notice how when I press the Alt key, my cursor changes to have the crosshairs as well as a circle in it. What this is going to do is create my circle from the center. And what I want to do is create this holding the Shift key again. So now I have two circles that are concentric. So this works out if you need to create two concentric circles or, or other objects as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the Polygon tool. The Polygon tool lets you create an object of many sides. If I just click, it shows me what the radius is and how many sides I want to create. Or I could just click and drag. And now notice how I can drag and rotate the way this polygon is, is facing. If I want to move this polygon as I am drawing it, and this works with all the shapes, I press the space bar, 
while I am drawing it without letting go of the mouse, and I can move this wherever I want it to be. I'm going to move this one so that it is right here, and I'm going to release it. Now, if I wanted to create another object here, let's say I wanted to create, instead of a hexagon, I wanted to create an, an octagon. I can go ahead and start drawing again, and I'm going to use the spacebar to move it where I want it to be. This time, without letting go, I'm going to hit the up arrow key, and I can increase the number of sides my polygon has. Or the down arrow key will allow me to decrease the number of sides my polygon has. So it's really easy to increase or decrease the number of sides. I'm going to go ahead and set this up to 8. And so there you can see my octagon. The next thing I want to show you is how to create stars. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the star tool. Now for a star, there's two points that it shows you. First of all, let me create the star. Here's a normal five-pointed star. I'm going to move it where I like, hold the space bar, move it down here. Now let's say I want to create a star that was different than this. If I click without dragging, I can see it gives me two options, radius 1 and radius 2. What the radiuses are is the distance from the center to either the end point or the distance to the outer point of our star. The number of points tells us how many, how many points we have. So I could go ahead and choose more points here, and I could choose whatever my radius would be, and you can see it creates it. Another way that you can do this is when you're drawing your, when you're drawing your star, you can simply click your arrow key. The down arrow will reduce the number of rays the star has. The up arrow will increase the number of rays the star has. So you can see there are many ways to draw shapes inside of Illustrator. Save this file and turn it in where your instructor has instructed you.